Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Crime is skyrocketing. Crime is skyrocketing right now. Like pretty soon we're going to be at levels that we were back in the 90s. You remember what it was like in the 90s. If you're over, you know, 35, you remember what it was like in the 90s. It was crazy. It was a war zone. I don't care where you lived in LA. Almost every city was had gangs in it and the gangs were turned up 1994 look it up or 93 I hate when i do that 2500 homicides in los angeles 2500 homicides in the city of los angeles in 93 or 94 i can't remember what it was <clears throat> hence the 94 crime bill but that's a whole other story Long Beach was turned up, wasn't it, Stefan? I was there, east side Long Beach, 326 East 21st Street, apartment four. Long Beach, California, 90806. I was right there. Right off of Elm. And it was going down. Gunshots put me to sleep at night. Then, from there, I moved to Bell Gardens. And guess what? Bell Gardens, another fucking gang-infested city. But this time, it's all Latinos turning up. And then my mom started to make a little bit of money. I moved to Downey. Downey. Hold on. I know that doesn't sound like much now, but take yourself back to Downey in 1992. There were still white people there. It was like 49% white people. Now it's all Latinos. Hey, it's still a great fucking city. But Downey. I moved to Downey, right? So I lived in Long Beach, East Long Beach to be specific. Bell Gardens, and then I moved to Downey. I'm looking around. I'm like, oh shit. I thought I was in Beverly Hills. I legit thought I was in Beverly Hills. And it's only one city over. Bell Gardens, go over the bridge, Downey. Like a, literally, I used, I could ride my bike through the riverbed, and I used to. But see, back in the day, and it's still kind of like that. But back in the day, people didn't just come and wander into Downey because they knew the Downey cops didn't play. And if you came to Downey and you looked like you didn't belong in Downey, oh, you were getting pulled over. I would say I was, I've been pulled in and I lived in Downey, keep in mind. I was pulled over in Downey all the time to where they just, oh, Arnold, all right, man, you're good. Downey's a great community, and to this day, I would I would raise my kids in Downey. Downey's a great city, but back then, long story short, the '90s were crazy, and we're going back into that direction. If we don't knock it off and stop, we are going to be back in that direction, and we can't go in that direction because if we go back in that direction. Like we did back in 1993, 1994, when there were 2,500 homicides. Compare that to 2020, and there were like 400. That shows you how turned up Los Angeles was at that time. <clears throat> if we keep going in that direction, they are going to bring the enforcements in, and we are going to have a 2024 crime bill, and they're going to start locking your asses right back up. Keep committing crimes. And they're going to lock your asses right back up. Because they ain't playing. You know why the 1994 crime bill was so drastic? Because what was going on in the street was so drastic. It was a legit, literal war zone. Every corner in Los Angeles had some, was covered by some form of gang. 
And I vividly remember my mother having to walk me to school the first couple of weeks when we moved to, uh, to Long Beach or when I first started going to school in Long Beach. She had to work, so I had to walk to school myself. She would tell me, all right, this is the route. You got to go this way. We go this way. All right, we don't go that way. Because you know why we don't go that way, right? Yes, the Crips. And then I looked down the street and I was like, I just remember, I remember 50 Crips just randomly chilling on the corner. Just on the, I mean, 1985, 86. And I remember this like it was yesterday. Looking down the block that my mom told me not to go down. And there were like 50 Crips, blue rags, Jerry Curl, like everything. And I was just like, oh my God, they look to me for some reason they all looked huge. I don't, once again, I'm a kid, so, and this is taking me back, so I gotta paint a, a picture for you. They looked, they literally looked like Godzilla to me with blue rags. And my mom said, don't go down that street, so she taught me, I go, and then you go down, and you'd make a left here, you, like she took me around it. Well, me, <laughs> being a kid that, Sometime didn't really listen like I should have listened. <sighs> One time I went down that street. Mama told me not to go down. And I don't know if my favorite cartoon was coming on and I wanted to rush home. I don't know if I had to pee and I just wanted to get home. I don't remember what made me go down that street. But I went down that street. And I was scared. It's Elman 21st. You exist right there. 300 block, 326. I lived in those apartments right there. There was a little bar across the street. There was a uh, there was a burger joint directly across the street. If you cross Long Beach Boulevard and directly in front of that burger joint, there was a used car lot. You know, you, you know Long Beach. Preaching to the choir. But one day I went down that street. Man, I was scared as hell. I was scared. I knew nobody did anything to me. They weren't I, They weren't going to do anything to me. Motherfuckers did not move or anything. Like It was like, damn, I had to make sure I wasn't bumping into niggas because they weren't moving for my little ass. But I remember they were all like giants. I just remember looking up. It was probably Jerry Codrey's juice dropping on my on my head because I was so little. Like I just remember, oh my God, my heart was pounding. And then like that little walk, that half a block walk, felt like a mile to me. And as soon as I passed it, I remember, oh. and meanwhile, they ain't paying me no mind. If anything, they probably would protect me if something, you know, were to go down on the street. I just didn't get that aspect of it, but I was just scared. And I just remember like, okay, I'm never going down that block again, just to save a five minutes from a walk. It makes sense now while my mom tells me to go around. Cause if anything, what she's thinking is, I could be walking down that block and a rival gang comes by, starts shooting, and I get caught in the crossfire. I don't think of these things as a six or seven year old. I'm a dumb kid who wants to go home and watch He-Man because it comes on at three o'clock. So I take the shortcut. So my point is, listen to your goddamn parents. Just listen to your parents. Like, you think you know everything, but you don't. Listen to your fucking parents. They're telling you shit for a reason. Could have been out of here at seven because the Longos decided to come and start blasting. That was my mom. That was probably my mom's frame of thought because I don't think she was afraid. She, we wouldn't have lived in that neighborhood if she was, you know, afraid of that. But my mom would like, she probably knew they would protect me if anything would happen, but she ain't want, she want to take the chance. So honey, don't go down that street because that's where they hang out. And that's where all the gunshots come from. At night, when we're asleep, it comes from that direction right there. So don't go down that street. Go all the way up 21st, make a left on Burnett or whatever that street was, and you're there. Go to Atlantic, and you're right there. So yes, I'm going to get the hell out of here. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please, 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 please. You know I'm at Dusty Vision TV on YouTube. Almost at 25,000 subscribers. I'm not going to push that one. That channel has legs like a motherfucker and it is doing great. If you enjoy gang content, if you enjoy true crime content, if you enjoy mobster type of content, street content, please go to Dusty Vision TV on YouTube. Please, please, please. If you enjoy this, what we do here, the rants, the one hour lives, the talks and the issues, I need you to go to YouTube and subscribe to Dusty Vision Radio.
That channel only has about 900 subscribers. I need to get to 1,000 so I can start making money on that channel as well. So I would really appreciate if you guys go over there and check out Dusty Vision Radio on YouTube. I just pop in from time to time on Facebook just to say hey. But if you want more of this, go to Dusty Vision Radio. Join me over there. I do appreciate you. You guys be safe out there. I hope I learned you a thing or two tonight. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.